Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be answering some IT related questions that were asked in my comment section in my channel. So I am thankful for all of you guys who have been asking a lot of really good questions and I really wanted to share to everyone, especially those who are curious with anything IT related, what my answers are. Some of you might not see the questions that were posted and other questions were from months ago. So I'm just bringing back all the questions and I'm answering all of them here in this video. So if you are curious to know what the questions are and what my answers will be, please keep on watching and stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so before I proceed with the questions and my answers, I would like to apologize in advance if I have butchered your usernames in here. Just please bear with me. So to get started with the first question, this is from Penti Moli9442. And the question is, how long have you been in the IT field for? You seem quite young, but also seems like have been in the industry for a long time, very knowledgeable. And I have seen a lot of guys in level two support who can't do half the stuff you can. First of all, I would like to thank you for the very nice feedback that you gave me. I really appreciate every nice comments that you guys have been posting in the channel. So to answer that question, how long I have been in the IT field for, I think it's been six years now. I've worked with three different companies. The first company is a hospitality company. The second company is a software company. And third company is a media company. So I've been in the business or in the industry for I think six to seven years now. Okay, so next question from Timothy Paras557. Five. Hi ma'am, I'm just wondering, do you work alone most of the time as an IT or is it like a team environment? Okay, so personally based on my experience, I've always worked with teams. I know this is not the same for everyone out there but it just happened that I've worked with like bigger companies with a lot of users. That's why we are always in a team and usually we have an IT manager and like seniors in the team and there's like juniors and tech so there's different levels also in the team tier one and two and three depends on the company structure and there's also there's always going to be like senior admins of course and some network admins and there's always going to be an IT manager that will be managing the team so I've always worked with teams okay for our third question this came from Jeremy and F 3930 hi I like your videos I'm an RN and wanting to career switch into tech do you think getting the CompTIA A plus is good enough to make the switch or should I also get the net plus and sec plus certs too okay so this is kind of tricky because it always depends on the situation but if you are starting and you're transitioning and you didn't have any educational background or work experience prior to your transition I would say a plus would be good enough for entry level this might not be the same to every role that you apply for but always look into the job description if that's all they are requiring requiring because a lot of entry-level jobs just require for the A+. plus. So I'm not sure with the job market right now but just look into the requirements that they're looking for. When I started and when I got my entry-level IT job, I only had the A+ plus certification and they didn't ask for any other certifications. I think that would be the minimum for now for, situa for certifications at least for entry-level IT. So I think that's good enough but certification alone is not enough for getting an IT entry level role. You should also be able to come up with home labs that shows your hands-on skill and experience at least because there's a lot of competition now. So a lot of people probably have A plus already. So you would have an edge if you have a hands-on experience by building home labs. Okay, so for the next question, this is from Nana Poku 5259 Shout out to you. I've seen your comments a lot and thank you so much for all of your great questions. So her question is another great video there. What ticketing system do you use? Is the bomb guard the same as Beyond Trust Remote Support? For someone trying to do career change, this is gold. Keep changing lives. This is outside of this video, but wanted to know your recommendation for a laptop brand with like say 500 gig and 16 gig RAM and 
is not too much expensive for creating home labs for practice such as this video okay so far we really have great questions here okay so she has a lot of a couple of questions here so let's answer the first one what ticketing system do you use so currently at work we use fresh service this is another ticketing system but in my previous jobs I've been using or we've been using ServiceNow and I think I really like ServiceNow because it offers really good asset management system along with the ticketing system too so ticketing systems are really very similar even if there's different versions for it so every ticketing system has this common features with them every ticketing system will have a status like priority of course a requester and the subject and the content of the ticket next question is bomber the same as beyond trust remote control yes bomber is the beyond trust remote control and i've been using this since i've started working in it and there's also a lot of different remote monitoring systems out there like team viewer another question from nana poku is laptop recommendation that at least have 500 gig hard drive and 16 gig ram that is not that expensive i always suggest a uh, dell xps model for people who are on a budget but looking for a powerful machine at least because Lenovo's and uh, HP I think are more expensive. Dell machines are also stable because we've used it at work. Okay so another question from Wood and 18.4 FN8. General question. Does your company want you to write down how many hours or minutes you spent on a project or a worker? I'm an IT and I want to know if that's too much or not. Uh, personally speaking, uh, this is such a neat question by the way. This is my first time that I've been asked this kind of question and no, based on my personal experience, our company doesn't ask such thing uh, when it comes to the workload that we are doing. I think in my personal opinion that's micromanaging and I don't think that's healthy for any professional worker to be micromanaged like that like writing down every single thing or every minute I think that's ridiculous unless you are really slacking or behind your project but I don't think that's normal so I think that's really too much for a management company to do that to you okay so next question is from James Evans 6406 and his comment is enjoy the video i'm a tech and recently have interest in networking do you have any certifications okay so i'm always asked this question a lot especially in my comment section i think a lot of people are curious on what certifications and it professionals have so i'm gonna start off with my current active certification i only have one and that's aws cloud practitioner certification and i think that will expire next year and they also have a plus and that has been expired for a few years now i think that was like five years ago when i took the exam so there are two parts for the certification there's the hardware and the software i'm not sure if that's the same currently but that's one of my certifications i didn't get certified for ccna but i finished the training ccna changes and revises a lot of their certifications so when i was about to take the certification i got my first job in it so i really didn't have time but i am planning to get certified again for something else maybe devnet or devops and i'm also learning linux so i might get certified in linux okay so next question how can i build and practice a ticketing system okay so i can give you a free ticketing system that you can use they have free trial for one month and this is very similar to what we use in the workplace so you can practice with this you can sign in to this ticketing system it's web-based you don't have to install anything so it's a good tool where you can practice your ticketing okay so next question is from mustafa sahid 1806 great video do you have any discord server or something to reach you and discuss about it okay so a lot of people are also asking if i have a discord server for my channel and i'm really planning to build and launch the discord server for this channel but i really want it to be really managed well with like bots so and scripts so i'm learning how to script so i could apply it to my discord server soon but i am really planning to launch 
a Discord server and I'm gonna let you guys know if you're interested to join. At least it'll be easier for us to discuss stuff in there and if you have questions, you can reach out to me directly. But if you do have questions, I have my Instagram account. I also have my email and my YouTube channel if you wanna check it out. Okay, next question is from Shai. Jai6241 Do you enjoy working in IT? You know so much. Okay, so thank you so much for that feedback. Really nice feedback. And do I enjoy working in IT? I think so. I think there are aspects of IT that I really enjoy like problem solving because I really like solving issues and building stuff. I love implementing projects. I really love setting up stuff and I really like just helping people out with their issues so that's the things that I enjoy working in IT but there's also a lot of things that I don't enjoy working in IT such as being the always the only girl or woman in the team I am the only woman in the team and sometimes that's really tough but I'm I'm just getting used to it I'm trying to brush off like the, dif the differences and also dealing with people and users most likely dealing with difficult people difficult team that's one of the things that I really don't enjoy and after hour support and on calls is also something that I don't enjoy so those are the pros and cons of working in IT okay next question is from S. Gal Ben and his question is how much talking to people is involved I really love computers and probably your typical socially reclusive geek the issue though is my being an extremely shy person that's a really really good question and I think a lot of people have this misconception that if you work in IT you are just in front of the computer all day and you don't do anything else so there's a lot into IT and tech that people don't realize and that's one of that is communicating and talking to people believe it or not I am an introvert and I'm a really shy person too that's why I started this channel so I can improve my communication skills and I can improve talking to people even in front of the camera so there's uh, it depends on what role that you're applying for in IT because there are IT roles that really don't deal much with a lot of people, especially with users. There's like admin roles, I guess, data center roles. So if that's what you are applying for or you're doing, you will deal with less people. Maybe just your team or different teams, but not really with users. But if you are doing IT support, hence it's called support, because you're supporting internal users. So if you are doing an interview, you have to ask if you are going to be dealing with users a lot on a daily basis because that would tell you what kind of job you have but there will be talking to people involved even if it's not with users there will be talking with your team collaborating on projects doing weekly or daily meetings and also collaborating with different teams to get a project done so there is talking to people involved in whatever role in IT you have okay so thank you so much for all the wonderful questions and great questions that you have posted on my channel if you do have more questions I might do another part for this video answering IT related questions so you can also still keep on posting and commenting your questions if you do have some there are questions here that I haven't really answered clearly please feel free to comment it down below and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video